Who are the Houthis? The Houthis, also in English known as the Houthi movement, refer to themselves instead as Ansar Allah, which translates to supporters of God. The name Houthi comes from the Houthi tribe of northwestern Yemen and the first significant leader Hussein al-Houthi, who in the late 90s formed a resistance movement to the country's dictator, Ali Abdullah Saleh, whom they accused of being backed by Saudi Arabia and the United States. Their slogan, which was adopted around 2003, also lists Israel and the Jews as their opponents. When their leader and namesake Hussein al-Houthi was killed by the Yemeni military, the Houthis launched an insurgency in Yemen while the movement continued to be led by al-Houthi's brother, Abdul Malik. When in 2011 the Arab Spring saw widespread opposition to Saleh's regime in Yemen, the Houthis joined a coalition of resistance, managing to gain control of land in the north of the country. However, they rejected the deal of reconciliation between the various parties and in 2014 switched sides to Baksaleh instead. The Houthis, together with parts of the Yemeni military loyal to Saleh, captured the capital of Sana'a. As a result of this, a coalition of Gulf Arab states headed by Saudi Arabia mounted a campaign of aerial bombardment on Houthi positions in support of Saleh's rival Abdurraba Mansur Hayadi and his allies the following year. Most Houthis are Shia Muslims, particularly Zaydi Shias, a branch of Shia Islam practiced in Yemen named after Zayd ibn Ali, an 8th century rebel whose unsuccessful rebellion against the Umayyad Caliphate nonetheless prompted the creation of a separate sect of Shia Islam. In particular, the core of the Houthi movement are followers of Jarudism, an offshoot of Zaydism known for its fundamentalism and proximity to the Shia beliefs followed in Iran. Their religious conviction as Shias and a opposition to America, Saudi Arabia and Israel make the Houthis obvious allies for the theocratic regime of Iran, who have supported them in Yemen to the point that the Houthis may be referred to as an Iranian proxy, similar to the Shia militias in Iraq, Hezbollah in Lebanon and to a certain extent Hamas in Gaza. Iranian backing gave the Houthis access to weapons and funding, allowing them to take large parts of northwestern Yemen even after the death of their erstwhile ally President Saleh in 2017 after they turned on him and killed him in his home. As well as fighting against the forces of President Hadi and his allies, both native and those from the Gulf Arab states, the Houthis have also fought against the separatist state in southern Yemen, the Transitional Council, as well as Al-Qaeda and ISIS, who both have a smaller presence in the peninsula. In 2021, the American government recognized the Houthis as terrorists, although this was overturned soon afterwards. In 2022, as a response to more bombing campaigns, the Houthis also launched missiles against their northern Arab neighbours in Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. In 2023, the civil war was changed fundamentally in Yemen from perhaps an unlikely source, with a peace deal being brokered by China after applying pressure on Iran as part of a larger Chinese-brokered uh, move towards peace between Iran and Saudi Arabia, of which the civil war in Yemen and the Houthis' role has often been seen as one of the arenas in which this is played off, with the Houthis receiving aid from Iran and Saudi Arabia and several other Gulf Arab states actively involved in supporting the side that was fighting against the Houthis. This ceasefire has largely held since then, and as such, the Houthis remain in charge of the capital Sana'a, as well as the uh, north and west of Yemen, most of what used to be the country of North Yemen, while in the south, the Southern Transitional Council holds land, and further to the east and north of the country, it is the government that was run by Hadi and is now being run by a different council. Following the attack on Israel by Hamas in October, they, in support of the Palestinians, attacked ships in the Red Sea region as well as firing missiles on Israel itself. The ships going through the Bab al-Mendeb Strait have been fired upon and one has been hijacked by Houthi rebels, prompting an international response of bombing campaigns and ships being sent to secure the essential trade lane, with the attacks being carried out by the United Kingdom and the United States, receiving support from Australia, Bahrain, Canada and the Netherlands.